Um, we had took a break, and uh, I remember I was looking through the book, and I was like, "Do we do tourniquets on each other?" Because I knew we do ace band. I call it a, a, a Indian, uh, an Israeli dressing. Yeah, which is the green one. She's like, "What's an Israeli dressing?" It's like this, but not made by a retard. It's kind of like French dressing, but it's not as sour. Okay. <laughs> um, she's like, oh, well, we go over tourniquets, but we don't actually put them on. Like, why not? It's easy. It takes like two seconds. Yeah. Put it on. Put the T on their forehead with a sharpie and the time. Little internal joke for all of us. Yeah. And uh, she's like, a sharpie? Like yeah, then you hope the bird gets there in the golden hour, and she's like, "Oh, you're military." <laughs> That's why I think she kind of realized, like, I already have way more advanced medical training than this. <laughs> Put a sharpie on her head. <laughs> well, they're like, uh, when you're doing a splint on the leg, you gotta try to find something like wood. Splint it to the other leg. It's already straight. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's right. Take his fucking belt, put it about halfway down. And they're like, try to uh, get it. I, our roll's two inches. If the arm's been cut off here, come back two inches up or two inches past the joint, turn it. Pretty much been the same for a while, hasn't it? I don't know about that. What's some other uses for a tourniquet? You got a belt. Uh, a scarf. A uh, prima cord. She asks, is like, uh, what else can you use to splint a leg? When you use a rifle, he's going to have one on him. What if you don't have that? Use his other leg. Why would you do that? It's already straight. Strap it down with two belts or straps or just tie as best as you can to get a good brace and you've got a, a splint right there. Mm. I don't know about that. Hey, it works for all of us. Because I was looking at the book, I was like, there ain't no detail to this shit. This is the American Heart Association. She probably, she probably went back home and set it there with a glass of wine going. He has totally fucked my class up today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what a lot of people don't know. Our combat lifesaver class, your first one you take is four days long. The hell I imagine. Because you place IVs. You, uh, you practice dragging and carrying. Um, oh, I didn't even tell them, hey, when they said, oh, well, when you call the uh, uh, 911, tell them everything they need to know. I was like, line one, calling it a nine-line medevac. This is good shit for these people. Fuck it. You don't get a lot of this knowledge you get. You know what I mean? A nine-line medevac is our 911 call, okay? What it is 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 nine lines of prudent information. The first five lines gets the bird off the ground. First yeah. four or five lines gets the bird off the yeah, ground. I think you, you can watch that show on. Uh, yeah, that's 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 the bird, but uh, they don't ever show them actually calling that stuff in and everything. No. Nine line medevac. And it's bad when you can get it off the internet. Line one, location of pickup site, which is a. 8 to 10 digit grid. Prefer 10 because it's more detailed. It's right down to about within 10 meters of yourself. Line 2, radio free call sign suffix. Uh, radio frequency uh, 26522 uh, Anvil 1 Alpha and suffix that we don't use that. That's Line 3, number of patients by of number of patients of precedence. Urgent, urgent surgical, priority, routine, convenience. Urgent, urgent surgical. Them are the two that's... It's going to get them activated. It, it, it has to go now. All right. Uh, 
urgent gunshot, urgent surgicals, amputation, uh, chest wounds. Priority, maybe you took around to the bottom of the leg somewhere, or through the foot, or the ass, or whatever, through the hand. And you can wrap it up, you need to go, but routine and convenience, if you want the bird off the ground, do the first two. Line four, special equipment required, A9, B hoist, C extraction equipment, D ventilator. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. It's always none for us. Uh, line five is number of patients litter, which means they gotta be littered up to there, or ambulatory, which means they can walk. Yeah. Okay? Or be helped. Uh, and you do the number. Um, line six, security at pickup site. No enemy troops in the area. Possible enemy troops in the area, enemy troops in the area. Approach with caution. And D is enemy troops in the area, armed escort required. Line seven, method of marking, pickup site. You say you do panels, uh, you got your OG or whatever panels they are, your reflective panels. Pyrotechnic will be. Uh, Flares. Flares or tracers. You have smoke signal, none, and other. If you use a smoke signal, until you have contact with that bird, once they get close enough to have radio frequency, then you pop a flare. But the, then you ask them what, or they'll ask you what color. It's a security thing. Right. In case that, sounds, that sounds right. Patients, nationality, and status. U.S. military, U.S. citizen, civilian. Non-U.S. military, non-U.S. citizen, enemy prisoners of war. NBC, line nine is kind of obsolete because it's nuclear, biological, chemical contamination on the side. Yeah. There's not much of that anymore. But uh, anybody who's familiar with the military knows what a nine-line medevac is. And the bad thing is a lot of dispatchers aren't trained in that because we can spit that shit out because, like, I couldn't sit here and do one to you right now. But if it was that moment. Yeah. Because well, it's, it's... It's sketched in your brain. It's mental thing. We have other lists. We have, uh... Five paragraphs of an op order. Uh... Damn, there's a... Like, you ever seen one of them big old long DOT tickets? Oh, yeah. I've seen it. Uh, we probably have enough acronyms and shit to just surpass that. I've seen one that stood as, uh, as long as a, a, a kid that was almost six foot tall. POV. You know what POV stands for? Personally owned vehicle. Yeah. Or per personal owned video. Point of view is what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh. What time is it? 8.50. 8.50? Yeah. Sec, operational security. I, I, I need to talk to Tyler, but I'm not going to. What? I want to tell him that way he can tell Melanie that Everett moved in with, with, with Tyler. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Connie back there. Yeah. I don't know about this. That's this thing. I, I don't. I don't got a bad feeling. Well, he's happy. I mean, he's he's he is so fucking happy and chipper. Uh, doesn't bitch about anything. No, he hasn't bitched about anything. He, he he just told me. He said, "You guys just take care of the house." And, and then I was walking out. I was he was trying to come in the door. I was trying to unlock the door at the same time. And then he goes, "It's just me." And I said, "I said all right." Well, I was going outside to smoke. And he goes, uh, "I got the mail." I said, "Okay." And uh, and we just and then we come out here and we talked and he. He had hooked on to the trailer and got the mail, and uh, we we talked. And he he said, "Would y'all help? Would y'all help us move that that entertainment center in tomorrow afternoon?" He said, "It's going to be heavy." He said, "Apparently, he's got two guys that's already hired up there in Wichita Falls to load it on the trailer, and it's going to be on a dolly." <coughs> you did tell him it would be after five o'clock. Oh yeah, because I told him I. Was, well, he asked me, he said, you want to go to Wichita with us? And I said, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll be in Wichita going. <laughs> Not only the ride to Wichita would kill me, but sitting up there waiting around somewhere would even drive me more gosh damn nuts. You know, and hell, fire. My phone would die along the way up there. You know what you told me? It'd be after 5 o'clock, right? Yeah, I told him I said. Because we're behind. So what they did is on on, mm -hmm. uh, on S. Well, I'm, I've got to go out there and fix the leaks on that trailer house. On, on, on the S, they dropped to 700 to 800, and then they didn't drop anything on any of us today. So we're a day behind. Yeah. Well, I understand this. Because C was over there and Keller with us. <laughs> yeah. Well, the deal is, um, I've got to go out there and work on that trailer house tomorrow and get a certain person some water back up and running because she hadn't had water in almost three weeks now. Here. Tell us sooner. Huh? Why don't you tell us sooner? Because it was been too cold, and she didn't want. She had plenty of water to hold her up, but she. But that's how we're gonna make. That's how we're gonna make our money. It's tomorrow. supposed to be like sixty tomorrow. Stop raining in the afternoon. Well, that's that's what I'm saying is, but that's how we're gonna make have our money. That's good because I'm gonna do some walking in the morning. Because yeah, dragging a truck is. One of little trucks should be fine. I got an invoice today where I'm getting my new truck. Oh yeah. Except uh, CJ gets my new truck. If that's the plan, unless he's getting a new one and I'm getting a new one too. In that case, I got a brand new Ford F-150 small bed uh, with brand new mm. linear lights on that bitch. It's got linears on it. The new ones come out with linears, yeah. Um, I think what Brandon's gonna do is he'll take my my little small one when I get it, and um, he's gonna take and have. I haven't heard if he got it if it was authorized yet, but he'll put me a traffic advisor on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would be cool. An LED traffic advisor, because you know when you saw me that one day. That traffic advisor on my truck, what's it do? Yeah. That ain't shit. Get an LED motherfucker up there blinking. I run that motherfucker in caution 90% of the time. <clears throat> okay, anyway, keep going. They gonna put your linear up there? I hope they do. We talked about it, and he sees he's getting authorized. I don't see where it'll hurt on that meter reading truck since I'll have it for a while. Um, topic. Some cloud covers cleared off. It's got brighter out there. Whoa, 
shit, it's still fucking. You don't need clouds to rain. We live in Texas. We can have all four seasons in one week. Well. But I got a plan to put, if, if I can't get it, because I guess it has to get authorized through people. Let's put a traffic advisor in my truck. But, uh, they actually need traffic advisors on them. Because all of us have. Because you got to stop on them little county roads. <coughs> Even them roads at Keller. They had no shoulders, they just straight drop off. The one I was on today, uh, Melody Lane. Yep. You can get off a whole lot. I, I haven't heard that about that. Bright at meter readers? No, Melody Lane. Where? Over around Keller. I know they repaved it, which is good on my camera. So Where is that? It's between Ottinger and Florence. I mean, Ottinger and Roanoke Road. Mm-hmm. I imagine there's more than one Melody Lane, though. I was going to have to put a reflective vest on the day I was having to get out so much on that road. I almost sprayed a dog. Because, you know, a dog will wag its tail and be growling at the same time. It's like, well, which one are you, happy or angry? Because you don't ever turn your back to the dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, let us let us all know when you're done. Oh. Um. How would you spell vegetarian? B E T R T R E E space H U G G E R. No, that don't come up. Tree hugger don't come up. Just type it exactly how I say it. All right, I'll do it again. All right. There's too many E's in it. What do you mean? It, it comes up... Uh, okay, backspace all the way to zero. T. Vegetarian? Yeah, T-R-E-E-H-U-G-G-E-R. -G -G -E Tree hugger. Stupid fuck, I'm it's trying to spell... I don't know how to spell vegetarian. Just call them a fucking tree hugger. That's what they are. I only eat meat produced in factories. Well, looks like you're going to starve. Looks like a vagina. How's a cabbage steak? Uh, I guess that's leaves compressed into a steak form. I don't sound good. Cabbage sounds good. Steak don't. Cabbage steaks. I found them at, on P 
Pinterest. That's kind of what kind of stupid shit she's talking about. They actually turned out pretty good, and I'm not a big cabbage fan. Well, at least she's straight. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, uh, um, we can talk about how the Cowboys blew this whole season. Man, fuck them, son of a bitch. It's only because they're dope. They're dope. Dope that they let them down. Well, the real thing is, is their main quarterback's out on the injury. Yeah. Um, there's nothing new on Donald Trump. Not laying that new ain't going on anywhere. It's just kind of a wasted time. Um, it's raining. Yeah. Let's see. Let me look at my radar. Yeah, do the weather report. See if you can find something that tells you some days in the head. Google search if you have to. Um, Learn to use that fancy phone if you got. We got a we got a big old rain system fixed to move to here. Um, in fact, it might be a good idea that we uh, look at here on the radar uh, that we move our, uh, about eight thirty. That we uh, that we move our system in indoors because it's it'll last a minute, maybe three minutes, uh, maybe longer than that. We had that little bitty shower that came through there that brought all all this. Then we're gonna have that, but we need to go in and, and uh, think about cooking. cooking and uh, I think it'll pretty well be over with when it moves too. Now there is another system that they've been talking about. So that's that's the one. That system out there. That's going to be a few days though. No, they're talking about that moving too. Uh, about Friday. Oh. A cold front was moving through Friday. No, there ain't no cold fronts. So it's calling for it to be cold this weekend when we get to high 40s. I know. But it's not. It's still running about 40, uh, 34 degrees in Kansas. Oklahoma is uh, running in the 40s. So. But that first system that come out come out of Mexico that is moving up. Uh, traffic, pretty uh, clear. Pretty clear. I haven't seen nothing going. Up. Oh, there goes a car right it's there. It's a Ford. It's a Ford. Yep, it's a Ford. Yeah, it's a fucking old rundown Dodge. You can get out of my Dodge now. That's a, that's a twofer. <laughs> I'll stop crying. You'll be fine. Yeah, mine is better than yours. It has four doors. You no matter if it has four doors or not, you couldn't get in the back seat of this motherfucker if you had a goddamn shovel and a goddamn crowbar. That back seat's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Store my shit. Towed around. Toolbox doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Store my shit. Uh, well, somebody could have stole all the shit out of the back of that motherfucker. I haven't looked at it in forever. Here we go. Uh, good evening. I'm, I'm Laura, 32. Hey, there's that one chick. Lives down the street. Yeah. From, uh, oh, from, uh, MI. Seeking a real serious man. Hope to hear from you soon. <sighs> Oh, I saw the hottest chick. That oh my God, look at that. Hey. And that's not even an American. <laughs> it's not even close to real. But I'll tell you, the hot chick of the day. Now, I only saw this much of her up. 
and she works for South Lake uh, Critter Care. Dog groomer, cat groomer. Yeah. Hot, uh, damn hot. But being the true nature of being down there, none of them people wave. I don't think they know how. How in the hell? All right. You want to check a number? No, you, we're on air right now. Yeah. Um. How the hell did she get my text message number? The infamous scam. Oh, we got another picture. Made ever popular by the internet. How is she? Mm. What makes you think you can even pull that? I don't. Well, that's fake. There ain't no way you get that. Well, if I can get that, I don't want. I want to know how in the fuck she's hitting me on my on my text messages. Tell her to text me. Do like I used to do when I had my black book and just save all them pictures. <laughs> Cause yeah, I get them ones that'd be like it's random I can't save it. Oh, I pull it up, put it up real close, save that into my black book, and delete the whole account. You used to have them new guys come in and be like, Look what I got. Oh yeah? Look how many I got. And just scroll through them hot ass chicks, bikinis and shit. Be like, Yeah. Go shut the fuck up and watch the homies. Where did I meet you? Where was it go? Well, we met at the Crystal Ball last night. 570. I think that's Minnesota. And then one's like, didn't we meet a while back? Yeah, at the... At the at the Chick Fil A in, 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 in San Bernardino. How's your day going, uh, lady? Uh, I don't think I've ever been to San Bernardino. Let alone to a Chick Fil A. No, it was you. I remember. We was at the Mexican restaurant on the fifth. Oh, really? No, it was the circus on the, on Twenty Fifth Street. Well, okay. Uh... Details. You might know my son. He's a millionaire. Uh, <laughs> uh, detail. Right. I think okay, Cupid. Okay. I think you need to find something around here and just deal with it. I actually have not had time to text you until now. But we met uh, uh, 14 years ago. And I am glad to reply. We met uh, 14 years ago when I was one years old and you, you worked at my mama's house. <laughs> Are you getting the no pictures? Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm going to lead her up to the fucking disappointment. Okay, yes. You know what's cool is when we finally hit the lotto, all this shit will stop and it will be people that we know. You know what I mean? Married exes will be coming along. Well, it's just not working out. And, uh, uh, no. Mm. But who, who was it? All be will come back and be like, well, I, I, I always truly, really wanted to be with you. Uh, why are you in my office? Now, let me know when you get done. No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how in the hell she get... Stop responding, it'll stop. 
shut up. I like playing this game. It gives me something to fucking do. I like nailing these stupid motherfuckers playing the game. You need to go grab your phone charger. The phone charger's right there. I'm fixing to go in. This early? Yeah, I'm tired of playing this game and we, I got a cup. It's going to take. the last one for the night. Um, remember to spay and neuter your pets. Yeah, and uh, also, <clears throat> if you play the dating sites, always check for scammers, because there's a goddamn boatload of them out there. Before we go, play us a, an exiting song. Find something on YouTube that's kind of rocky, catchy. I got some. Swipe over. Swipe over. What do you mean swipe over? If I'm on YouTube, you gotta swipe over. I got something that I was saved just just actually for this. <clears throat> Somebody sent it to me, and uh, it's called uh, Cattle Hauling. And uh, it's got a good little catchy song. And I don't think we're gonna break anybody's fucking infringement rights or any shit like Copyright. that. Right. Copyright. Copyright. Infringement, you can be like, you made your 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 uh, bird feeder look like mine. Dick we bought it at the same rest at dick, the same goddamn dick, place. Dick, dick sucking rights or whatever. Uh, this 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 commercial right this minute. Turn yours up, and then we'll. Fifteen percent or more on car insurance. You switch to Geico. It's what you do. We'll, uh, we'll play this, and then we'll exit out with our information. Yeah, and hit play. Uh, yeah. No. Get out of it and start it over again. Hit play. Yeah. I will when I get in the house. Because these iPhones, when they are getting low on battery, they start not acting right. Is that it? Yeah. We've had all the shots and we. We've had all the shots and the balls to be ready to go. P50. 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 That place looks familiar. It is down there, but I can't tell you where it's at. The buoy? No, it's not a buoy. That's up in Oklahoma. That's a small town.
I do have one place I read where you have to jump their pipe fence, walk through, God damn. step over their electric oh, fence, crap. and then they have a herd of longhorn cattle out there. Yeah. And they're actually like really nice. They'll come up and yeah, interact with you and shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> trucks are everywhere up there. Alright, remember spraying into your pets? Alright. Uh, hey, uh, God damn it. Be very careful with elderly and electronics. And uh, don't stick your tongue in them light sockets. Or frozen uh, flag post. Yeah. yeah, frozen flag post. Anyway, uh, we're going to retire uh, back into the comfort and warm of the house. And uh, that way we can cook some supper tonight. Remember, I'm not pouring for you. We're not all in this together. But somebody is someone. Peace out. Keep Any, your stick on the ice. Anytime.